Hello everyone, today we will talk about interpeduncular fossa which is seen in the base of the brain. Peduncle, cerebral peduncle is formed by the midbrain. If you all might have seen the cut sections of the midbrain, the midbrain dorsally divided into tectum and ventrally we have got the cerebral peduncles which includes substantia nigra and crest cerebri. So the gap between the two peduncles is called as interpeduncular fossa which is appreciated in the base of the brain. And this interpeduncular fossa here in a closer view this area is the interpeduncular fossa and where we can see the crust cerebri of midbrain. So this is the only part of midbrain which is seen in externally crust cerebri of midbrain. Let's see the boundaries and contents of interpeduncular fossa. Here is the closer view to show the boundaries and contents. Anteriorly and anterolaterally it is formed by the optic tract and optic chasma. Anteriorly by optic chasma. Anteriorly optic tract. Posteriorly the superior part of pons that is the upper border of the pons and on each side crust cerebri or cere cerebral peduncles which is the part of midbrain. So these are the boundaries let's see the contents the contents ventral hypothalamus including the following structures like ventral part of the hypothalamus is seen here where the two mammillary bodies a pair of mammillary bodies tubus cinereum tubus cinereum is the base of the stalk of pituitary gland which continues as the infundibulum of pituitary gland tuber cinereum And tuber cinereum is the raised part of the gray matter which continues as the stalk or infundibulum of the pituitary gland. And stalk of the pituitary gland is also appreciated. This is the stalk which is the continuation of tuber cinereum. And posterior perforated substance we can see the sieve like substance like having holes called as posterior perforated substance. Posterior perforated substance is also a layer of grey matter which is pierced by the central branches of posterior cerebral artery and we can see the emergence of third cranial nerve. We can see the origin of the third cranial nerve here. This is the third cranial nerve that is the oculomotor nerve. And the nerve which is coming on the lateral side which is not a part of interpeduncular fossa is the fourth cranial nerve which is the trochlear nerve can be seen here in this picture. Here is the original specimen showing the interpeduncular fossa in the base of the brain. These are the optic nerves which cross with each other to form optic chasma. This is optic chasma. And we can see here the pons, this is pons, so superior border of the pons and we can see these rounded bodies which are the mammillary bodies and we can also appreciate the third cranial nerve, it is the oculomotor nerve arising from the interpeduncular fossa and uh, the other structures are Around the interpeduncular fossa we can see the circle of villus which is also called as circulus arteriosus. This is the basilar artery. So this completes the interpeduncular fossa.